Uh, hello, for everybody who doesn't know, my name is JJ. I go by JJ Scope Two. Um, today I'm making a video on the how to mod on Dying Light Two because I've gone through so many videos, I've gone through so many YouTube channels, and nobody really gives you an explanation on how to do this. I had to figure it out for myself, and it took me numerous of hours and maybe a couple of days to even get it get it done because I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but I figured it out. You know. So today I'm going to be showing you how to mod a Dying Light Two. What am I using to mod di uh, Dying Line 2? So, what I'm using right now is Nexus Mods. And even if you search this up on YouTube, a lot of people will say, oh, just download Nexus Mod. I mean, go to Nexus Mod, etc., yada, yada, and just download the mods. doesn't work that way. It's not always that simple. So, first things first, I do highly recommend you to download the Nexus Mod Vortex app. This is so much simpler. It helps you actually... um get the mods into the game without you having to do all the moving it, it takes the file of the game and it imports it into the app and basically when you download the game when you download the mod actually when you download the mod you'll have an option like this for example let me just click on this one real quick so you go to files and see how it says mod manager you click on mod manager and it downloads it onto vortex and when it downloads onto work Vortex, it automatically installs the mod into the game without you having to do any type of moving at all. So, when you go to Nexus Mods, you search up Dying Light 2, right? I'm going to put all this in the description for you guys. You search up Dying Light 2, and then you look for the mods, for example. So, let's just say, let me go back. Let me just go back real quick. Let's just say, you go to New This Week, I got a couple things. That I've downloaded like all the DLC weapons, etc. Right? Let's just say you want to download PK Armor, right? So you go to PK Armor, you go to um read the description first. Uh hand is floating beyond my control, but you, you want to read this stuff. You read this and you also want to read the post. What are people saying? Love the armor is how it should have looked, not like wearing skinny jeans, blah blah blah. You just read the reviews and see what people are saying. If people are saying that this mod is working, that it's good. Um, or if it has any type of bugs that you probably don't want to um, deal with, just go ahead and just don't download it then. But before you even download any type of mod, you want to make sure you go to your files. You go over to find your PC. So go to desktop, this PC, go to your files, um, users, go to documents. Dying Light 2, go to Out, go to Storage, go to Save. And what you want to do is you want to just highlight your main save. So, for example, this is my main save. You want to copy it, right? And you just want to paste it in the back of your desktop. Just go on the back of the desktop and click Paste and just save it. Make You can even make it into a folder. Just say Dying Light Save. Do this before you install any mod because it's going to be your backup just in case your file gets corrupted. And if anything, you could just download a whole new save from the modding page itself. So, create your save, exit that out, and let's just download this mod right now. So, I wanna get this mod, right? So, I'm gonna manually download it, right? Click slow download. Give it a second. There it opened up, right? Data pack five. So, see how it says data pack five? So technically speaking, this is not going to work because you have to go over to your files again. So not this one. You got to go back to your files. Dying light two out. You want to go, where's data at? Oh, pH. I went to the wrong thing. That's why I say use the Vortex app. The Vortex app will be a lot simpler. So you open up the Vortex app, right? You go to games. Here's downline two. You click on the plus because I already added it. Go to open, open game folder. You go to pH, you go to source, and see how it says data pack five right here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go here, 
you're going to change, you're going to rename this, right? Instead of data pack five or six or whatever, you're going to put seven, right? You go ahead and you drag it over. Now you got data pack seven there. So you just installed the mod, right? Some mods, it doesn't install it for you um, automatically. Some you have to do manually. This is how you do it manually. Exit that out. Right? Once you exit that out, go ahead and set up Dying Light 2. Give it a second. We continue. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna throw that mod into my stash or if it's gonna throw it actually into the store, but we're about to find out. If it throws it into the store, there's gonna be complication. I do have other mods running in the background, so it might not work because of have um other mods, but let's just see. Okay, let's see. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. What about extras? Nothing new. Alright, so I might be in my stat. In my store. Uh. Let's see. So no, it's not gonna work because I have this already downloaded. So I like, see I have mods installed right now that just gives me everything in gear, which is totally insane. And you can get all platinum weapons in the item shop. And you can also mod the weapons that you're not able to mod. Right? It just makes the game so much fun. So that didn't work. Probably because I have the mod installed. Yeah, it's not gonna work because I have a different mod installed for the item shop. Because the night runners weren't defined by just post this. They were the All right, so I'm gonna just show you all the mods that I have running in the background. So I have all of these running in the background. So that's the reason it's not working is because I already have the platinum weapon in the shop mod running. That's why it's not working, because I believe it's supposed to appear in the item shop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, description, first of all. Oh, it overrides the pre-order skins reload. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I mean, there's not a mod I actually wanted anyways. Um... The mod that I do recommend you guys to do is this one right here, if I can find it real quick. Go here, the top of 30 days, you should download this mod. Uh, this is the one I have downloaded, gives me all the armor, all the weapons. You gotta do the same procedure I just did, except you gotta change the data pack from five to six, and then just Drag it into that file and you're good. Um, you could also purchase the crossbow. You could add that to the mod as well. You just got to make sure you have no inventory mods. If not, it's not going to work as you can see. So right here, dying light save. Right? So let's just say you beat the game, right? And whatever. You just want to have everything in the game. So this is something I actually downloaded. It gives you literally everything. Legitimately, it gives you everything. So all you got to do for this one is the same procedure. Um, it gives you a description in the very beginning. You can read that if you want. Um, me personally, I manually downloaded it. I didn't do the mod da download. So you download it. Slow download. Give it a second. Open. Save open. Save file. Save main three. See how it saves that, right? 
you go over here, go to documents, go to down line two, go to out. You go instead of going to save backups, you don't go there. You go to storage. You go to save, and this is where you were installed. It. So let's just say you don't have these two in here. You only have one. All you gotta do is just grab the file and drag it over here, and that's it. Load up the game and then load into this file. It's gonna appear this hard. Um, the difficulty is gonna be on hard, so you know which one is the file, and you're good. That's literally all you gotta do. That's exactly how you just download mods onto the game. It's really not that difficult. And I don't understand why people don't like giving out this information on YouTube. Like, it's very simple. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Um, follow me on Twitch. I did a scope queue. If you guys have any help with the game, need help with anything, regardless of whatever it is in this game, just hit me up. I got you. I'm online almost every single day after 10 p.m. Eastern. And I'm just willing to always help people. I'm always doing it. Uh, let me just show you real quick how I'm always constantly just helping people. So if you look over here, I'm always, always constantly helping people. Always, always. It is a really big community. I am always helping people in this. Every day after 10 p.m. If you guys need help, just let me know. I'll throw in my Discord. Um, my Discord will be right here. You can see it. JJ Trays, double Z's, hashtag 3217. If you guys ever need help. All right, peace.